Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Reveal the Shield Deep Dive. Nice little uh, redeco of Sea Spray, if you remember that. It's a Voyager class figure, so let me just take a look. It rolls real right. It should be a hovercraft like LCAC. Uh, that's what the Navy uses, a uh, landing craft air cushion, but hey, uh, clear plastic here, green. As you remember, Sea Screen was more of a blue, or Sea Spray was more of a blue. And I don't have the box. This was given to me by my boy. Actually, his kid gave it to me because he went on to Power Rangers, which is blasphemy, I say, but what can you do? So, as you can see, hides the undercarriage junk really well. Rather solid piece. Uh, I like this. Is it reminds me of the Energon toys. Very solid construction. I like the molding here. Uh, the panel lines aren't as smooth as I like. And, of course, to reveal the shield. He's an Autobot. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not... Yeah, remember the G1? That's what that's all about. So I got the Ultra Magnus missiles. I don't have the missiles, so they do fire if I ever can find them. So I'm just going to leave them on for now because, quite frankly, I can't get them to fire. They don't fire very well because they're not his missiles. But I wanted it for decoration, and this is as close as I can find. So it's not bad. I mean, it is what it is. It, see the little propellers in the back rotate a little bit you can see there's not much there in the back but it's not bad good looking figure you know it's utilitarian it does its job even though it may not hide everything well uh, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, transformation relatively easy for a big figure I'm going to remove the launchers for some reason because it's easier and they're nice and tight that way they're out of the way you don't have to but to me it's a little easier first thing I'm going to do is pretty much unpeg everything so I'm gonna start with the legs here unpeg that there we go and I like the legs they're nice little satisfying ratchet joints and you can see the bottom over here so it just forces that okay now that we unpeg everything it just move that rotate that about 270 degrees and move down rotate the legs 180 all right, and I like the thigh swivel, so you're going to rotate that down and rotate this 180. And I don't like the chicken bird legs, but I do like the fact that he reminded that they have low, he doesn't have heel spurs, but they have these fins for no apparent reason, but it looks cool nonetheless. Same thing on the other side, rotate that, rotate the thigh 90 degrees, rotate that 180. So, yeah, and pull the fin out. Good. I'm a scuba diver, so I'm a big fan of the fact that they have that. Okay, now that we have that, we have the arms here, so they pretty much tab out. And you can see they have a nice, beautiful head here with light piping. Plenty of light piping. Oh, I keep forgetting. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, you can see he's got good light piping. And I like the little scuba dive mask looking thing here that he has. Again, I'm a big fan of scuba diving, and one day maybe I'll give you... I got my GoPro, I just got to go scuba diving one day. It's been a few years, and by a few I mean five. So, yeah, I'm a little rusty, no, no doubt. So that's how you transform, well, might as well tell you. Down, pull this down, swivel this, pull that, and rotate. And the backpack, make sure that we rotate this out of the way. The backpack does peg nice and gently. And the, this back flap rolls down, back flap collapses on the back here. Rotate propellers. And there's this little tab over here that tabs with that there. Snaps in, and it's a really solid figure. I don't like that. You can rotate the propellers whatever you wish, which I'm a big fan. There we go. This is looking pretty good. Nice little figure. Shorter than a lot of the, uh, what do you call that, Voyager class figures. No waist rotation. The head is on a swivel, like I said. Uh, ratchet joint on the shoulder, you can clearly see. And it shrugs up in bicep swivel. Weird double joint, actually single swivel on the elbow. Kind of weird. No, he had a bicep swivel. Swivel on the wrist, kind of limited. Oh, and of course I forgot, put down. There we go. So they have these underslung weapons. That does rotate. So yeah. I like it. Of course I can't get it to shoot because it's not the missiles they came with. Hip 
No swivel on the waist, hip is on ratchet joint, swivel on the thigh, weird single jointed knee, uh, not much on the leg or the foot, and of course a little flipper. But, sorry, fins. <clears throat> not bad looking, has wheels, of course, I forgot to mention that on the, on the whatchamacallit, alt mode. There you go, not a bad looking figure, I like it. Definitely has its charm. Definitely better looking on robot mode. And for size comparison, now I have it's like I said, mentioned it's a little bit shorter than the Voyager class figure. There he is. And this Magic Ranger, I just had that dude. There's a good old Megatron for the deluxe size comparison. Let me just go out here so you can see. Not a bad looking figure. I like it. Uh, it has a lot of charm. I wish uh, it had more colors like sea sprays. It's kind of subdued in this sense. But other than that, not that bad. 7.5 out of 10. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch you all next time.